to the jetty I watch the ships arriving Unloading on the key For the last time I lost the news of Melbourne town But now I'm heading homewards Means nothing much to me I never thought that I would be The one so sad for leaving As they're loading down the houses from the town Welcome back, everybody, to another week down here in Gippsland, South Gippsland, to be precise. It's a glorious day down here today. It's a little bit cold, but not a cloud in the sky. Looking forward to spring, which is just around the corner. I'm back here at uh, the old school. Uh, you've seen, seen me here many times before. Uh, just going to have a, uh, a bit of a go around here for maybe an hour, uh, maybe a bit longer, and then might, might head to the racetrack and have a crack there. We'll see how we go. Uh, another big shout out to Dirt, Fish and Dave and Scotty who uh, I think is probably away now. Uh, g'day guys and hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. Hopefully get a few. So I'll see you in the first one. Alright folks, well I've been here about an hour. And apart from being bitten by mosquitoes, I've had got one, one cent piece. Which is pretty damn boring but this one was reading, well... A bit sketchy this one um, and it wasn't very deep it was about a 27 but I think I might have myself a little silver so we go down here you can just see him there we'll pluck him out yep there we go and I can actually read that for change 1943 so that's I'm happy now <laughs> got myself a decent coin and that's come out of the ground really nice as they do 925s alrighty I'll keep going for a bit longer then we might move venues cheers yeah just to show you folks the um the beautiful day that it is down here I've moved to the um to the racetrack I've got a few coins so far not much to talk about really I'll show you in a second what I've got but um, yeah just a great day I haven't uh, done any live digs yet because I haven't got anything of great significance but anyway it's nice to be out so that's what I've got so far folks three goldies five brown buggers and that nice little throop so that's it so far. Might do a wrap later on. I'll go for a bit longer and then might hit the road. Cheers. Well, I'll just pop that one, folks. So that gives us 10 coins now. Another goldie. Righto. Let's get another one, folks. Not very deep, this one. Reckon by the reed, that's going to be two bucks. There you go. Oh, coin number 12. Keep rolling. Scotty, I think this one's for you again, mate. Familiar area. And I reckon we got ourselves a big silver. Well, I'm hoping. Anyway, it was a sketchy read. I really didn't dig it. It's only about three, only about two inches down. Let's get it. And it is. It is, Scotty. You'll be spewing, mate. Missed this one too, pal. 1954. You ripper. That's made the day. Okay. I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to push off, folks. Um, it's about three and a half hours all up. I think four of those coins came to the old school. And the rest of them here. The racetrack. I understand what Scott means. You've got to wade through a lot of uh, one and two cent pieces to get the good stuff so I think 18 coins is the count there 10 10 one and two cent pieces 11 bucks in gold that little throop we saw at the school and that that made the day that one there we're getting a few lately which is good 1954 50% silver florin so folks 
from me, Grant, down here in beautiful South Gippsland. Sign off for another week. Cheers.